All right, it's a way up. I'm Angela Yee, and I'm joined today by Jordan Emanuel. She is also a journalist, which we love, yeah. and also Rob Markman, who is a music journalist. You know him from right now from Genius, but also from being a hip hop artist. Yeah. Um, let's get into it. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right, well, let's start um, March 22nd. This is when this all kind of exploded publicly for us to see. You know, there were little jabs that had been taken between Kendrick Lamar and, and Drake. Did y'all anticipate that this would ever be like this? I did it. I did no. it. I, I thought that the beef, because there were so many shots for like 10 years, mm -hmm. I was like, this, this isn't going anywhere. Right. Really, I, I literally made a video on my Instagram on, on January 4th being like, these guys are never gonna really go at each other. They might as well all three collaborate: Drake, J Cole, Kendrick. And clearly, do, I was do you wrong. think it's because it we don't know what it really even stems from, right? Is it rap competition? Is it I'm the best? But it feels like it's very, very personal. And Jordan, do you think there's certain lines that shouldn't be crossed when it comes to rap battles, or everything is on the table? At this point, it's too late. Regardless, I do feel like you know there's some etiquette being people in the same industry, but. That's long gone at this point. Just know when I run into you, you can't say certain things and think <laughs> it's all good. Well, let's start it off with Like That. This is the song with Future, Metro Boomin, and Kendrick. And here's what Kendrick had to say. Mother of the big three. It's just big me. All right, so that was the, the first little, okay, some jabs were taken there. And by the way, J. Cole did respond at a certain point, but then dropped out right after. With, with seven minute drill. He said it was affecting his peace. He wasn't <laughs> sleeping right at night. I'm not mad at it and, now. Wait, he got clowned. He definitely got clowned. <laughs> he He's did. seeming like the genius. He might be the winner in all this when it's all said and done. He saw it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well then Drake on April 13th put out Push Ups, and this was the Drop and Give Me 50, and people were loving this, by the way, when it came out, because the Drop and Give Me 50, was it he was saying that uh, TDE got 50% of Kendrick's money, or... Did he pay fifty million to get out of that yeah, contract? That's yeah. what some people speculated. I, I think it was fifty percent because, and then he talked. He had a line about splits on the leak version and Kendrick doing splits. So, and I, I don't know that fifty percent is a bad deal. I, I mean, what was Drake's contract with Birdman and Wayne like? So, right, everybody has, and yeah, everybody's in everybody's pockets. Well, here's what that sounded like. Switches, I'll be rocking every chain I own next busy. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Mm, Whitney is, of course, Kendrick's significant other. And she's been at the center of a lot of this. Um, now, we'll get into that in a second. But Kendrick then responded with Euphoria. And Euphoria, by the way, is also the name of the show that Drake executive produced with um, Zendaya. So That had a lot of underage sex in the show also. Yeah, that people were saying it was like, you know. Well, it was we like know. Degrassi 2.0. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really like 3.0. But here's what that sounded like where he took shots at Drake for being a bad father. Why would I call around trying to get hurt on nigga? Try think of my life is rap. That's a short. I got a son to raise, but I can see you don't know nothing about that. Wake All up. right, we got a lot more to get into um, when it comes to this. But then he also put out, by the way, was it the same day that this came out, 616 in L.A.? 616 in L.A. came out on Friday. Okay. And, and that and um, Meet the Meet the Grams yeah, came out later that night. All right, all right. So let's get into... Um, 616 in LA, here's what that sounded like. Have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Fake bully, I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone is. Ooh, all mm. right. Well, this is where it was exposed that there are some moles in Drake's camp. What do you think about that? I believe it, low key. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to have a camp that big and not have some suspicious people in there. Yeah, and, and even if they're not intentionally suspicious, like that the camp has been like a little shaky. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the Pusha T beef, Pusha found out about Drake's son. He said... How did he find that out? Because he said 40 had told the woman. It was pillow talking and, and, and Pusha found out from the woman. So, you know, the camp, there's a lot of people in that camp. So th th there's been leaks, whether intentional or malicious or not. All right. Well, we're going to get more into this because there is so much. And when I tell you, we've never heard Kendrick drop like this. You know, literally back to back to back. And the 616 in L.A., of course, was the time stamping, which is normally what Drake does in a lot of his music. And so Kendrick beat him to the punch with that. Uh, there's a lot of subliminals here, and I know we'll break that down, too. We have more uh, when we come back about last night, because it only makes sense in about last night to talk about all of these songs dropping, Oof. like, all weekend. And it's a lot. 
It's, yeah. That's a whole lot. I'm it's a lot for a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Um, so we played some of the beginnings of the beef up to 616 in L.A. And right now, let's get into where we are. Um, now, Drake put out the song Family Matters, and he's making a lot of accusations about Kendrick, Kendrick's right hand, Dave Free, being the father of one of Whitney, his his woman's um, kids. All right? So here's what he had to say. Mama Cash was always screaming, save me. You did it dirty all your life. You're trying to make peace. I heard it one of them little kids might be day free. Oh, that's a mm. huge allegation. Yeah. Messy. But I it's also not saying it's true. It's saying I heard that it yeah, might that, be. Yeah, that, that, that's the out, though. That's the, right. like, the wink, wink. Like, right. he, he introduced that information. That wasn't even a rumor. That wasn't anything that anybody was talking about. Right. Drake put that in the air. I, I don't believe it. Mm-hmm. Because I, I I wouldn't see Kendrick after that standing next to Dave Free like I, I I just don't that was pretty unbelievable to me. And then he also and and I think this is where he's really trying to hit below the belt because Kendrick has made it clear like you're talking about my family and I think anybody in a hip hop beef once you start talking about somebody's family you may not care about what people say about you but when they start talking about people who you love that's when it really does hurt and here's what he had to say about his allegations that Kendrick is abusive to Whitney. When you put your hands on your girl. Is it self-defense because she bigger than you? Your back is up against the curb. You digging for dirt, she be digging for proof. Why Have you heard these allegations before about him putting his hands or, or being an abuser? No. Never. No. I also think it's so ironic that Drake chose to use that line because he stood by so many actual people who've gone to jail for putting their hands okay. on people. That's so I feel point. like that's a little... Mm, Ironic, yeah. yeah. It's a hypocrite, so we can't even take it seriously. Right. All right, well, here is what Kendrick had to say on um, on Meet the Grams, and it was pretty harsh. <laughs> Listen, your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think something like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get f***ed up in a cell for the rest they life. Wow. He compared him to Harvey Weinstein and said that your dad raised a sick kid. All right, here's what else he had to say about this alleged, and there's a lot of allegations here, a daughter that he says that Drake has. I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much, but it's music, yeah, that's for sure. Wow, 11-year-old daughter. Do we think that's true, or that's just an allegation that's being thrown out there in response? History could be repeating itself. <laughs> I, I think I think Doc got some bad information. I, I think you know the difference between this because this is the Pusha T playbook mm-hmm. with Storia added on and Pusha revealed that Drake had a son that we didn't know about, and then we saw that Drake actually had a son. Unless we see the daughter, right? Like, it, it's kind of like well, anybody. It's really at this point anybody could say anything. Angela, yeah, I could I could talk about you're not from Brooklyn. Angela Ooh, Yee's actually from that. Mars. She doesn't walk on her two feet. <laughs> she she handstands and walks on her hands. Yes. Anything, too, Anybody by the way. Say anything. And you know what the worst thing you could say about somebody is that they're a pedophile and Kendra goes there on Not Like Us. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably A minor. Ooh. Ouch. Let's go rapping. Yeah, right. eight with that. But I will say, up. and we'll talk about this later, Drake comes back and says, A minor, B sharp. And, you know, that was clever, too. But... He also says that Bay is not going to let you disrespect Pac, and now he's saying that he cannot go there. Yeah. Is that the worst thing you could say about somebody? That they're a pedophile? Because there's, you know, people get mad when you put that allegation out there if it's not true. Yeah. It's it, pretty big. That, that, in our culture, I, I think, I, I'm just speaking, like, th- there's no coming back from that. There's I no think redeeming. Any culture, you're, you're a probably. pedophile, that's it. Right. But, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like, we we don't wish jail on nobody, right? Like we just mm-hmm. talking about in our culture, it's tr- usually how we go, except pedophiles and rapists. And it's like send them to jail and beat them up every day and right, wishing right. death on people. It, and no one feels bad for you. And nobody right. feels bad for you. It is it, that that stain don't come off. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's hear what Drake had to say because everybody was like, "Wow, finally Drake has something to say." You know, at first we were like, "When is Kendrick going to say something?" Now Drake has responded, and this is the heart part six, where he basically says Kendrick was getting some fake information that was purposely being given to him. The ones that you're getting your stories from, they are clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation. Now, Jordan, I want to ask you this, because mm-hmm. he said that first he, he called people clowns that was right. given information, but then he said he was feeding the information. 
Yeah, I think he should have put a pause on that for a second and figured out his thoughts before he released anything else, to be honest, because I felt like he was contradicting himself throughout the majority of the song. And do you believe this feeding fake information? No. Sounds very convenient. Yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. um, because then after that, he did go on to deny these uh, pedophile claims. Yeah. As he should. That's why these pedophile raps are so obsessed with. It's so excessive. They're acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never know an affection. I don't want to dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. I never been with no one underage. But now I understand why that's the angle that you really mess with. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for this shit suggested but that's not the lesson clearly there's a deeper message and yes so he's denying those those claims but he also made some claims about kendrick right yeah yeah Did he? oh about the day free stuff well oh. that but then i feel like he was saying that that something about oh, being molested. oh oh yes 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 oh. and that's where it kind of started so, from yeah he used he, yeah he did he went into um mother may i mm -hmm. from from Mr. Morale, where, where Kendrick talks about his mother suspected that he was getting molested, but Kendrick said it never happened. Right, but he kind of tries to say, this is why you're acting like this, right. because you've been molested. Right. People didn't like him weaponizing that. Yeah. But, you know, in a rap beef, I guess, everybody's been going everywhere in this one in particular. Uh, we're going to discuss this more, of course, but when we come back, we're going to take a break. We yeah. need to breathe from all of the beef. And we're going to do Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. And you'll be happy to know everybody in here loves Dave and & Buster's. And you're going to love something that's going to be happening there now. It's way up.